Hello and welcome to What's in the Night Sky for August 2024. I'm David and here's what we've got coming up this month. Mars and Jupiter will be in conjunction. There'll be an occultation of Saturn by the Moon. There's the Perseids meteor shower. Our constellation of the month is Perseus. Our visibility of the planets will continue to improve this month, especially towards the end of the month. Look east for Jupiter and Mars, their morning planets appearing close together. On the 6th of August, they form a triangle with the star Aldebaran. Mars and Jupiter are in conjunction on the 14th and 15th in the morning. You can see it with the naked eye or view with binoculars or a telescope. Saturn is well placed for observation after the 10th of August when it reaches its highest point under dark skies. The rings appear very thin as they approach the ring plane crossing in March 2025 when they will be on edge to us and seem to disappear. This happens around every 15 years. Galileo was the first to observe Saturn's rings in 1610. He was using a very early telescope, so it wasn't very good at making stuff out clearly. He actually first thought those rings were ears. In 1659, with an improvement in the technology of telescopes, Dutch astronomer Christian Huygens actually figured out it was rings around Saturn. On the 17th of August, Saturn's largest moon, Titan, is touching its south pole just before 5 a.m. There's a full occultation of Saturn by the Moon that's visible from the UK on the 21st of August. This is when the planet seems to disappear behind the Moon and it's a pretty rare event. Saturn will disappear at approximately 4.28 a.m., depending on your location, either way, just before dawn. It's worth going out 20 to 30 minutes before the expected disappearance, so you can watch them move together and you don't miss anything. Saturn's bright enough that you should be able to view the occultation with the naked eye but binoculars or a small telescope will be better. The sky will be brighter when Saturn reappears around 45 minutes later, but it should still be observable. Over three days, the 26th, 27th and 28th, follow the Moon in the early mornings as it passes from the Pleiades with Uranus nearby to Jupiter and then finally passing by Mars. Time now for our constellation of the month and that's Perseus. He was the Greek hero who killed the Gorgon Medusa with her snakes for hair and a face so horrible that you would turn to stone if you looked directly into her eyes. He's often depicted carrying the head of Medusa. You can find that constellation just below the W of Cassiopeia. The Perseid meteor shower appears to originate from the constellation of Perseus, but they can appear from anywhere in the sky as Earth travels through the debris of the comet Swift-Tuttle. It has a rate of around 100 meteors per hour. The peak of the shower is on the 12th and 13th of August, but it is active all through August. Let your eyes adjust, get comfortable and keep a lookout. Whilst looking at Perseus, look out for the double cluster just under the W of Cassiopeia. In dark skies you should be able to see them with the naked eye, but you will get a better view with binoculars or a telescope. Each cluster contains a few hundred stars and is around 7,000 light years away. It contains stars much younger and much hotter than the Sun. Closer to home now, looking out for the International Space Station. Try spotting it on the 27th of August, appearing around 3.45am and travelling from the southwest towards the east, passing by Saturn, the Moon, Jupiter and Mars. And again on the 30th of August, appearing around 4.30am, it will be travelling overhead from west to east. Share your astronomy pictures with us using the hashtag NSCStargazers. Happy stargazing.